and I am Dr. Heather Moore, owner of Total Performance Physical Therapy. Tonight we're going to talk about when is it time to seek help. Um, unfortunately, uh, not a lot of people know the answer to this question, and it's the reason why people wind up spending a lot of time in therapy uh, as opposed to just kind of a quick tune-up and then uh, hop on out. Uh, one of the things that I get is that as we get older, we wind up waking up with lots of aches and pains. Um, you sleep in a weird position, your back hurts, your neck hurts, you know, you sleep on your shoulder wrong, you know, you pick up your kid weird one day and something aches or you hear something pop. And when do you know, well, what is, when, when is it a problem? Because you're not going to run to the doctor every time there's an ache and a pain. You're not going to be in my office every time something hurts. And it would be ridiculous to think that you would. So how do you figure when is the appropriate time? So right off the bat, I usually give it two weeks. If you feel pain and you know that there is uh, something going on, and we all know when there's something going on, um, you know, we, we reduce how we do things. We consciously say, hey, you know what, I'm not going to lift overhead with this shoulder because it hurts, or I'm not going to run as far tomorrow because I know my knee is going to hurt, or things like that. Or I'm going to do a couple of stretches I found on the internet. And what happens is, is over this two-week period, it's either going to get worse or it's going to get better. And if you are splitting hairs with yourself, and if you say, you know what, I think it's getting better, I'm not real sure, it's not getting better. And you haven't made some clear-cut jumps in uh, what you are able to do or you are no longer limited then it is not okay, and it needs to be, and you need to be treated for it. Now, a lot of times, it doesn't occur over weeks. It occurs over months. So here's kind of my little bullseye, and this is how I draw when I kind of try to explain this to people, and forgive my drawing. I'm a PT. I am not an artist. So here's, we have outer rings, and we have inner rings. Okay, so... If we put on the outermost ring all of our higher level activities, running, gardening, exercise, okay, that is in the outer ring, all right? In here, we're going to put work, standing. Okay, not as intense as this, but still requires some activity. And in here we're going to put sleep, sitting, kind of the basics of human nature. So when do I normally get to see people? When this is affected, okay? People don't come in until this has gone wrong. And then they want to know why it doesn't take them one visit of physical therapy to get better. What happens is, is as you develop pain and as the snowball continues and as the snowball builds, you're going to notice this circle is going to fade away. So, and it's not instantaneous, so you're not going to all of a sudden not be able to run tomorrow, okay? You're going to notice that, okay, that pain while you were running that came on at mile two is now coming on at mile one. Or that pain that you had when you were gardening uh, for, at, for 15 minutes, now you get it 10 minutes. So what you start to do is you start to narrow things down in your life. So if you're going to garden for 15 minutes, you're only going to garden for 10 because at 15 it's excruciating. So you're only going to garden for 10. But most people think, hey, I can still garden, so I'm going to let it go. So eventually, though, you're not going to be able to garden. You're not going to be able to exercise. You're not going to be able to do anything. And this is going to go away. This whole circle of your life will go away. And FYI, if we catch the pain when this circle still exists, if you come in to PT when this circle is actually still there, there is a very good chance that we can get you out and get you done very quickly. Okay? Now, most of you come in and this circle is kind of like this. It's halfway there. And what you're doing with the other half to make that half stay is you're doing a compensation pattern. 
So let's say that you are, um, you, let's say you're a runner. We see a lot of runners, okay? And all of a sudden, you've decreased your mileage from 10 miles a week to 8 miles a week. And then all of a sudden, you decrease to 6 miles a week. Well, now you have a half marathon coming up, so you know you have to boost your mileage. So you just go back and you just find a way. You take a week off. That's one of my favorites is I just stop doing everything for a week. That doesn't fix anything, I promise you. Unless you had a traumatic sprain of a ligament, don't take any rest. It doesn't matter, okay? So I get the people in here who rest for a week, maybe two, maybe three. They stop running. They stop gardening. They stop doing – we're just going to take a rest. I'm going to sit out for two, three, four weeks, and then I'm going to come back. Well, the inflammation that was there is now gone. The problem that caused the inflammation is still there. Okay? So I'm going to write that down. When you rest, it is not the magic pill. So when you rest, all right, if you take time off, stop running, stop gardening, stop doing activities. All you do is decrease the inflammation or the swelling, whatever you want to call it. That's it. You're like, great, it doesn't hurt. It's not swelling. That's what you ultimately want to do. You did not fix the problem. Okay, so when you go back and run, if you had a tight calf muscle and that's why you were having pain, if you had uh, some sort of joint imbalance, some sort of muscle imbalance, and that's why you had pain, it's going to go right back to where it was. So you're right, you're going to get maybe 10 miles in, you might get a whole week of, you know, back to, you know, your 10, 8, and 6, and you might be, you know, rocking and rolling, and then all of a sudden race day comes and you physically can't run, because what it took you to do those 10, 8, and 6 after you rested was you had to come up with a whole new compensation pattern. And your body was okay because the inflammation was gone. But what your body didn't tell you was that it got rid of the inflammation because you rested it, but it didn't solve anything. Why did you have the inflammation? Do you know? Do you know why you were resting? If you can't answer why you are resting other than it hurts, you're not resting for the right reasons. And all that rest you're doing right now is a waste of time. All right, so then, so we have all this, so then this circle goes away. So now we start to see a lot of people come in right about now because a lot of quality of life has gone away. So now we have work, standing, activities that are not as strenuous as, as uh, working out or things like that, lifting heavy objects. So this slowly starts to go away too, okay? And all of a sudden now, you can't sit through an entire meeting. Or you can't stand to wash the dishes. You have to sit down, okay? And then this starts to go away. And then all of a sudden, now you can't sit. You can't sleep. It's all gone. The circle has been erased. And then people come in and say, I need it fixed. Guys, I'm telling you, when this circle... And all three layers of it go away, the chances of all three layers of it coming back are not good. I don't care if it's pills, surgery, physical therapy. If the, if the pain has been going on so long that these all disappear and you can't do anything without it hurting, it's not a good sign. Okay? So we encourage you and we encourage people to get in when they start to notice that they are starting to limit activities. Do not rest do not change how you're doing things do not stop doing things thinking it's going to fix anything it's not unless you had a car accident unless you fell rest is going to be the worst thing for you every story that I hear every patient I treat goes basically the same way I wish I would have come in here sooner I had back pain, you know, six months ago. I started feeling 
pain when I was driving. It started going down my leg. I had pain when I was washing the dishes. You know what? I bent down to pick up my youngest child. I couldn't lift her anymore. And so on and so forth. And then all of a sudden, the spasms that I used to be able to lay down, and it, they, they would just go away. So I didn't really see anything, you know, why I needed to, to come to the doctor. I only had them once every six months. Those spasms start to come up once every three months. Those spasms start to come once every month. And then all of a sudden, you're just in spasm and you can't go to work. So there's a very slow sometimes. Sometimes it's quicker. It depends on who you are and what your activity level is. But it really depends uh, on, on those things. But it will eventually snowball. The snowball does not stop. If you notice that you have pain, that you remember the last time you had pain, and I'm not talking about a pain like you slept in a bed, a, a, a different bed, you used a different pillow, you woke up, you had a crick in your neck, you know, you're on vacation and for seven days straight you woke up and your neck was sore. Okay, we know why. Chances are you're going to go home, you're going to go back to your own bed, and you're going to feel great. So those aren't the pains I'm talking about. I'm talking about the pains that, you know, you woke up with a stiff neck, you're in your own bed, and it seems like every morning now you're waking up with a stiff neck. Or, you know, it started at six months and now all of a sudden, every, you know, now you can't turn your head completely to drive. You notice that you have to start to kind of turn your shoulders. These are all signs that you should be in getting treatment. And these are all signs that we can fix and are easy to fix. The hard part and why people spend so long in therapy is because they wait so long to get help. They wait so long to kind of raise their hand. They're afraid that... I'm going to tell them I can't fix them. They're afraid it's going to be surgery. They're afraid it's going to be injections. Fear keeps people out of this office a lot. And maybe fear of the elbow, but that's another story. Um, but don't wait to get something treated. Okay? Rest isn't the answer. You're going to rest this thing for a month until you can't run anymore. And then you're going to come in and say, now I'm, a, now I'm two months behind. And I'm going to say, well, now you have to keep resting because... There's nothing really we can do to get you back on the road right now. You've been resting for so long. So when something hurts, okay, if you notice it and you remember the last time it hurt, you need to address it. You need to take care of it. You need to make sure that you are taking the appropriate steps. I don't care if you do go on the Internet and Google something and, and try and, and do that. But guess what? Have a plan. Like if this doesn't work, I'm going to try these exercises that Heather showed me to do. Those things should be fairly quick. You should get relief within a day or two. If you are trying an at-home online treatment, it should be a quick at-home online treatment. Anything offered online is a quick fix to a simple problem. If yours doesn't go away or you don't notice that it's diminishing, it can't be fixed online. You actually have to go see someone. And the, and the quicker you can get in to see someone, the less time it's going to take. So if you take nothing else away, take this away. Do not rest. Don't rest your injury. Don't stop running. Don't stop gardening, okay? That's the worst thing you can do. Come in, have it checked out. In the comment section, I'm going to post a uh, link for our free consult. If you want to come in, we'll check it out. We'll see what can you do. Sometimes it's not a whole regimen of physical therapy. Sometimes it is just an exercise. Or, you know, do this at home and you're going to be fine. The sooner we get to an injury, the sooner we get to a pain, the sooner we are able to say, see you later. You know, it takes us very little time to fix things if it's not compounded by months and years and, and weeks of compensation. So again, if you are in this limbo, if you've started to rest, or you're like, I don't know if I should get this looked at, fill out the form, click the link, fill out the form. We'd be glad to take a look at it for you. Get it taken care of. The sooner you get in, the sooner you get out.